looks really colorful, it smells really good, kind of looks like something that you can eat, but this isn't going to be an edible food project. Don't be disappointed, it's still going to be a fun project. You want to know what this is. Hey guys, my name's Ray Parr and welcome to Get Crafty Crafty. Today, we're going to be painting with shaving cream. And it's a really cool technique that you can actually work with for kids all ages. And it's messy, but just the right amount of messy where you can actually have fun. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include shaving cream, some small bowls, some brushes, liquid watercolor. If you don't have liquid watercolor, food coloring can actually work as a great substitute for this project. Some paper, a latex glove, and some crayons. Today, we'll be using the twistable crayons from Crayola. First, take your bowl and fill it with shaving cream. Next, take your liquid watercolor and give a few squeezes of color onto your shaving cream. Using your paintbrush, gently combine the watercolor and your shaving cream together. You want to do this carefully so that you can keep the foaminess of your shaving cream. Repeat the same steps to get other colors. Use your crayons to draw something cool on your paper. To paint with your shaving cream, you can either apply it using your brush, or you can go ahead and have a little messy fun and use your latex glove to spread the foam paint onto your paper. Feel free to mix and match your colors and spread it around. If you do paint with your fingers, you'll, it's, it allows you to have a greater range of control on spreading the foam, the shaving cream actually. It's really cool because you get to actually blend it in and create different shades on your project. When you're working with your shaving cream paint, feel free to get messy and have fun with it. Uh, I wear the latex glove just because I don't want to get any of the color on my hands. If you are using food coloring as a substitute, I do highly recommend you use the glove. Um, just because when you're using your hands, it actually allows you to play around with the technique a little bit more and create really cool patterns on your paper. Um, with the shaving cream, it's really easy to clean up. You just need a quick wet nap to wipe your table. Um, it dries almost instantaneously if you have a thin layer of uh, color and it's a great way just to show kids how to make different shading techniques. Uh, thanks again for watching Get Crafty Crafty. Come back next time to see our next project. Make sure to check out our past two videos and make sure to follow us on um, Facebook and Pinterest and feel free to follow me on uh, Twitter. Thanks again for watching. Come back next time. My hand's so colorful. <laughs>